Hello everyone, myself Ashish Desai, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Department. Today we are going to discuss here unit number 6, Dimensional Analysis. So in that content we are going to discuss here the Bucking Hanks Pi method. So in last lecture we are discussed regarding the railings method. So now we are discussing regarding the Bucking Hanks method. So in that case uh, this method is the analysis which is used to uh, when number of variables are more. So in that case we can go for Buckingham's so actually three or four uh, variables is there then we can go for Rayleigh's method but more and more than that it goes tedious method so you can go for Buckingham's method so first of all we look at the Buckingham's theorem so in that content uh, if there are n variables so this is the independent as well as dependent variables in a physical phenomena and if this contain m fundamental dimensions that means m l t that is m for mass l for length and t for time then the variables are arranged into n minus m this is dimensionless number and each term called as a pi term that means if it is your n variables is there and contains m fundamental dimensions means m l t format so it contains then and then only we can arrange into n minus m dimensionless number so dimensionless number means there is no any unit so this term is called as pi terms so here we will discuss regarding the buckingham's pi theorem this method is used for n type uh, n variables and it is easier method for uh, for a solution for the this problem uh, so let x1 x2 x3 x2 here are the variables involved in a physical problem so if you consider here x1 to x raised to n are the variables the next step it, it should be uh, in that content suppose we consider this from x1 to x raised to n x1 is a dependent and all are other the independent so these are the x2 x3 x2 to n are independent variables so that means it should be depend on a x1 so x1 is important value terms so x1 is the function of so we can write it as a like this x1 is a function of x2 x3 x to n and mathematically we can express as x1 is equal to function of x2 comma x3 up to x to n so this is the uh, writing method for x1 is a function and it is depending on it depends that is x1 is depending on x2 x3 and x to n so this is the uh, statement and this is number equation one we are called it the equation number one so this equation one we can write like this also that means function we can take back into the uh, inside and x1 is to inside the bracket so f1 x1 is x1 x2 x3 up to x2 n equal to zero now we find this is the equation number two and equation two is called as dimensionally homogeneous equation so this equation two is called as dimensionally homogeneous equation means both sides are the same now from that equation we uh, we find out first number of variables so here n variable there that's why i can write n variable number of fundamental dimension that is equal to m yeah. fundamental dimension means m lt format so m lt so m always remember that m value is 3 so whenever you can go for that m value is 3 because we are expressing the unit uh, in terms of dimension is m lt so number of dimension list number so we dimension numbers is kind of find out by n minus m so n minus m so that gives a dimensional number so hence the equation 2 it becomes so here uh, equation 2 becomes so n minus m so pi terms will be n minus m so that's why i can write pi 1 to pi 2 to, to pi plus 2 n minus m suppose equal to 0 so this is the equation suppose n is the n is 4 and m is 3 so 4 minus 3 1 so here pi 1 pi term is 1 so only we write f pi 1 equal to 0 so that like that much like we can write a uh, for working as method so only we have to first of all find out n variable then we go for fundamental dimension so always remember that from fundamental dimensions are equal to 3 so n this number of variables minus 3 that means dimensionless terms so if you are consider example for that if your uh, n is equal to 5 so here put in 5 and m is 3 so 5 minus 3 means 2 2 means pi 1 and pi 2 these are two terms so this is pi 1 and pi 2 so these are two terms for the uh, dimensionless number so we have to find out go for 
this Buckingham's pi method. So you can call it as equation number three. So this each term is going to get written as. So here we can term written as pi one, pi two is two. Uh, so so many other terms is there up to pi n minus m, pi n minus m. So you write first x two is there. So x two plus two a one, x three plus two b one, x three two. Here we can write x two. Here x three. Your export here we can say that from this function and into x1. So first of all we consider three. Okay, x1, x3, x2 to four. Like this. So we can arranging this term and this is the called as a Buckingham's Smith method. So both uh, that a1, b1, c1 is obtained by the principle of dimensional homogeneity because this is exponential format and a1, b1, c1 values of pi1, pi2 plus two pi obtained. So here we put. We are formulating the a1 b1 c1 that means find out the a1 b1 c1 and put into this format and then we find out the pi1 pi2 pi3 value so if you get the value of a1 a b1 c1 then we can put over here and after that we can get the equation so this is the uh, buckingham's pi method so this final equation we can write it as a pi1 is equal to pi pi2 pi3 is to pi to 1 so likewise we can write pi1 is at the outset and all the term is into bracket only we write the function phi. So this is the Buckingham's phi method. Again, I repeat, we are considering n number of terms. Then from that, uh, one we have to find out the the dependent variable. So here, the dependent variable is x1. So that means x1 is function of x2, x3, x4 up to x2 to n. So that that's why you can write mathematical format. x1 is equal to function of x2, x3, x2 to n. That is equation number one. And then we can write also in the format of function x2, x is to n. So there are number of variables is n. Fundamental dimensions is m. So m only m we uh, here we can replace by 3 because we are writing in the dimensions format mlt. So this uh, n minus m will get the that term, type of terms. Suppose m n is 5, m is 3. So m is constant. The m is 3. So 5 minus 3 means 2. So here we write f f1 that is f pi1 comma pi2 bracket complete so here we have to find out n minus m so that much pi terms will be get that is equation number two then we write in the into format like x2 is to a x3 is to b x2 is to c1 and x1 so like this we can combine this format and then uh, we find out for the, this a b c1 so that is a1 b1 c1 and obtain and you can put the into the pi1 terms that is pi1 terms and pi2 terms then we can put up this over here so this is the Buckingham's pi method now we go for the selecting repeating variables repeating variables means uh, same value will be the uh, same dimension will be there that is called as repeating variables so i want the for that purpose we are having some uh, rules for the solution of Buckingham's pi method so first is a i want taking a quantity required as the repeating variables so this is first point second represent the variables put together should not go form a dimensionless group no two repeating variables should save have same dimensions so this is also important term and repeating uh, variables can be selected by these three methods uh, first is geometric property so geometric property means length height width so this is called as geometric property flow property means velocity acceleration discharge that is called as a flow property fluid property is density viscosity surface tension that is called as fluid property so in a repeating variables you first let geometric then flow property then fluid property uh, so in this most uh, common mechanical uh, problems will be select like this d v rho d means geometric property v means flow property rho means fluid property then second case l is geometric property v is flow property rho is fluid property then l is here also l v mu so l is geometric v mu or oh, sorry v is flow property fluid is that mu is fluid property so likewise we have to arranging this term but most of the choices of repeating variables is like this suppose you have uh, we look at the list combinations d v rho so directly we can select d v rho l v rho so l v rho likewise we can select the repeating variables so these are some relations we have so first of all we go for the problem that problem indicates the deficiency of efficiency that is eta of fan depends on uh, density rho then dynamic viscosity mu of the fluid and angular velocity omega diameter d of the rotor and discharge q so express in the in terms of eta in terms of dimensionless parameter so here 
uh, eta that is eta is depending on this parameter that is rho mu d and q so that's why we add out first equation that is eta is function of rho mu d omega and q so we can write it as like this that is eta is equal to function of rho mu w d q so here first of all we find out that is functions so all terms we are taken into the bracket so here equation number we can put this so here six terms is there so total number of variables that is six so here we can count eta we can take inside so one two three four five six so variables is six then fundamental dimensions so fundamental dimension is three so always remember that this fundamental dimension is three because constant because constant every time and every problem you can take a fundamental dimension is three because all the variables having uh, in the format of mlt mlt means mass then length and time so on a basis we can take a three so in every problem we can take m is equal to three okay then next we go for finding out number of dimensionless number so that is it nothing but pi so pi is nothing but n minus m n minus m means 6 minus 3 so if we get the pi term 3 that means we like this equation we can write f1 so this f1 we can take as it is then we can write pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 equal to 0 so this is the equation number 1 then next oh sorry equation number 2 we are added here now we know that most mechanical problems we have charged the repeating variables so here so actually we write here pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 these are the three terms then this fluid balance having this job uh, that uh, selectivity because we have to select first uh, that pi 1 is first term that is d a1 so d is your d is your geometry property then uh, the omega omega is flow property so here in that case flow property is omega then geometry property is only one because length height and diameter instead of that diameter is there so we can select diameter directly otherwise you you go for this sequence lv mu lv rho and uh, dv rho so here v is not available v is not v is available but v is not available here so we can go for flow property that is omega the next fluid property so fluid property is having rho so there are two uh, actually uh, fluid properties there but in that case if you have d omega rho so here l v rho so rho is your constant term that's why rho rho is your third person third uh, property that's why this is constant so that's why dv rho either dv rho we can take other either was l v rho so mu is we can having second choice so that's why we select here rho again i repeat we are having three pi okay so pi terms will be three that means we can write as a pi one and there are first property we required in the working as pi method is first method is uh, it should be a geometry property so here we concentrated on their d is your geometric property then next then we go for flow property but in that case flow property is only omega because if velocity uh, the acceleration is the um, set so we can take as a angular velocity omega acceleration absent and all the other terms also absent linear dimensions are also absent so that's why we can write omega is a flow property then next uh, go for fluid property so fluid property we can indicate by rho so why you selected rho why not selected mu because this rules here clearly mentioned that dv rho lv rho so rho is your first choice and then second choice will be mu that's why i selected here fluid property as rho instead of mu so rho is there and eta so here remaining terms lv rho so actually lv sorry l omega rho we can replace it or can say d omega rho we can replace and only remain terms three which are them eta then mu and q so there are three terms so here pi 2 is there pi 2 first of all we select geometry property that is d only you have to change in the exponential that is a2 because this is the second line then omega that is called as flow property we can say that the second term that is why we can say that w omega will be t 
then rho c2 that means fluid property and last one is that is mu mu is uh, that viscosity that is dynamic viscosity you can take as a viscosity then pi 3 term so pi 3 term is nothing but d is your geometry property then omega is a flow property fluid property we can take rho and last term in that case eta and mu is over now only remain q so you write q here so this is about the so that Buckingham's pi method so first of all we concentrate in our pi first term then we have to find out pi 1 value then pi 2 we can concentrate then we have find out pi 2 then pi 3 and these three equations we have put up into the equation number one that means pi function of one pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 so we can put the value of pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 so first of all we look at the first target term that is pi 1 is equal to d a raised to a 1 the omega b raised to b 1 rho c 1 and into eta so here first of all we write the that fundamental dimension that is mld format so on both sides we can put the dimensions that means m 0 l 0 t 0 so this is for pi 1 so pi 1 means nothing but dimensionless number means dim no there is no dimension that's why i can write m 0 l 0 t 0 for this purpose mlt format for diameter so only diameter means we can measure end length so we can write l a raised to a1 then omega omega means what angular velocity so that means 1 upon t that means 1 t raised to minus 1 t raised to minus 1 means what it should be uh you can write like this t raised to minus 1 only t raised to minus is 1 is there because here omega that term is 1 upon t so t raised to minus 1 b1 as it is then rho rho is nothing but mass upon volume so m stands for mass and volume divided by volume is there so divided by volume means l cube so that goes on upper side that is numerator that's why it can becomes m l raised to minus 3 this c1 as it is this b1 as it is this a1 as it is and eta is nothing but m0 l0 t0 now we compare the these terms of the powers of m l t so first power you can take m so here m is 0 okay so i write here 0 m is 0 is equal to so you are completed lhs so lhs only m 0 is there and for rhs so rhs will have we have that uh, m so m term is not there m term is not there m term is there so that m term is c1 so only write c1 because here there is no any provision so that's why c 1 into 1 that is why c1 so that's why c1 is there plus then again we find out for mass so mass is over then mass so 0 is there so plus 0 that means c1 is equal to 0 the next term power of l so power of l is here 0 so we write here 0 then equal to a1 we can write a1 then l is not there l is there minus 3 c1 so here l is minus 3 c1 and l is 0 so we are according to we can write there and then find out the value of c1 so actually c1 is 0 so i write here a1 plus 0 okay so that by uh, a1 0 c1 0 b1 0 so we can put this in terms of uh, equation of pi 1 so actually pi 1 is over here so pi 1 i can write d omega rho so these all the terms are 0 only remain that eta value okay so eta value we can write this so pi 1 d raised to 0 omega 0 rho 0 into eta as it is so these uh, 0 means 1 so pi 1 is equal to eta so this is our first relation now next we go for second pattern because second pattern is like this pi 2 is equal to d a raised to 2 omega b2 rho c2 into mu like this so we have to take first this value then substituting the dimension on both sides so we get m0 l0 t0 at the right uh, left hand side on right hand side l a is to 2 so here for diameter purpose mlt is l then omega t minus 1 rho mass upon volume that is why mass l raised to minus 3 into mu so mu is a dynamic viscosity according to that we can find out m l minus t minus 1 so equating this power of m l t both sides so m for m 
m so here m is absent here m is absent m is there so m 1 c2 c2 is there and plus 1 so c2 plus 1 c2 plus 1 so c2 plus means 1 c1 is c2 is equal to minus 1 now we go for power of t so what is power of t so t is 0 so i write 0 then t terms that's minus sorry minus b2 minus b2 so you're absent and here minus 1 so minus 1 so according to that we have a tried equation so b2 is equal to minus 1 so this is about power of t then power of l so power of l means 0 we can take as it is so l is a present that is means y a2 then not present l is present minus 3 c2 because l is present minus 3 c2 then minus 1 so minus 1 now we can solve by this putting the value of b2 c2 so b2 so b2 is absent so only put the c2 value and calculate this this formulation that is a2 is equal to minus 2 so this is about the a2 b2 c2 now we write the equation or substituting the equation a2 b2 c2 in a pi 2 so pi 2 is equal to d raised to minus 2 so a2 is there now so only we route a2 means minus 2 b2 means minus 1 and rho means c2 that is minus 1 into mu so because of that uh, we have to formalize that pi 2 is equal to mu d square omega rho that is your required answer now we move for the next term you know that is phi third phi term because th 3 pi term is present so pi 3 is equal to d a raise to 3 omega b3 rho c3 into q now we for go for substituting the dimensions m0 l0 t0 l raised to a3 omega t raised to minus 1 b3 minus b3 then rho is a mass upon volume so m l raised to minus 3 c3 equal to into l cube by t raised to minus 1 meter cube per second so that's why l cube t raised to minus 1 so first of all we compare the power of m power of m so m is here 0 uh, then here m is my 3 c3 c3 3 is equal to 0 so this is about equation then we go for power of t so here 0 is there so we require time here right so t raised to minus b3 minus b3 and minus 1 so minus b3 minus 1 means what b3 is equal to minus 1 that is your power of t then power of l is equal to power of l is equal to uh, we have l is 0 over here then we can find out l l is a3 then next a3 then minus 3c3 minus 3c3 plus l is only remain so plus 3 plus 3 so this is about power of l now we put the value of c3 and b3 only part c3 and then we get the value of a3 is equal to minus 3 so these three terms that is a3 b3 c3 we have to put it into a third part term that is equation number two so here equation number two only we put the value of zero minus one minus three like this so the value a3 b3 c3 in pi one pi three so pi three is equal to d raised to minus three because instead of a3 we write it up minus three omega omega is raised to minus sorry omega raised to b3 so b3 means so b3 is equal to minus one then So according to that we have to formalize in this equation and then find out the value of t is to minus 3 omega is to minus 1 rho is to 0 into q so after solving pi 3 is equal to so likewise we have to find out so power of l power of m and according to the comparison or can say put the value of previous one then you can take achievable and these three terms we have to put it into pi 3 term that is why equation number two then we have to put the value over here and then pi 3 values calculated now next step is we have to find collect these pi terms and then we substitute in the values in equation number two so equation number two is like this we have pi one pi two pi three only we put the value of a pi one pi two pi three then we go for eta eta is equal to what phi into bracket so eta is constant term so we can take pi eta is equal to phi mu d square omega rho into q d square omega into bracket complete so this is about first problem 
so already we discussed in this format first of all we find out the dimension list number for the purpose we required fundamental dimensions then we required total number of dimensions fundamental dimensions so always remember that fundamental dimension is 3 so 6 minus 3 is equal to pi 3 so we have used so here pi 3 is clearly mentioned that's why 3 times pi pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 you can write like this equal to equal to and we have to finalize this d omega rho so d omega rho is your first uh, first pattern then second pattern is d raised to a2 omega raised to b2 uh, rho c2 mu then then we put up the value over here that is d a raised to 3 like this we put up the value over here so that is q so all these value we can contain with this the next this for first pi term first pi term is d a raised to a1 omega raised to b1 rho c is even and eta so like this equation is there then substituting the both sides on a, a pi 1 dimensions we are putting in the both sides Z, m0 l0 t0 l raised to a1 t raised to minus 1 b1 because omega is there so 1 upon t that's why t raised to minus 1 raised to b1 then mass upon volume mass upon volume means l cube so raised to minus 3 then ml is to minus 3 e to c1 so here into this equation we required over here that is eta right so eta we can put there that means m0 l0 t0 now we compare for the value of now this value already find it out right so these terms we have used here six minus three three pi term is three so d1 is the geometry property flow property fluid property and last one is the delta p then rho d is to 2 b2 v2 smu c2 that's mu c2 then this value is from we can take as a l then d a3 v v3 mu c3 and last term is rho so these three terms we are used over here and for, we have to find out the pi term pi 1 term pi 2 term pi 3 term and we have to put up into the equation number 2 that is f pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 so first of all we go for pi 1 term so substituting the value over here so for that of us m pi 1 is m0 l0 t0 d so for 11 then velocity is there so that means density uh, sorry distance upon time so l dt is to minus 1 then mu that's why m l minus 1 t minus 1 c1 and for delta p we put the value m l minus 1 t minus 2 so equating the power m 0 l uh, sorry m l t so first of all power of m so 0 is there then for that purpose c1 plus 1 so this is what plus 1 so c1 equal to what minus 1 the next power of t so power of t means t is here 0 then t is absent over here t minus b1 minus b1 so t is present here minus c1 so minus c1 so t so minus 2 minus 2 so likewise we collected over here that is power of t then next uh, we have to put the value of c is equal to minus 1 then we will get the equation that is b1 is equal to minus 1 similarly we go for power of l so power of l is nothing but l is 0 then a1 plus b1 minus c1 plus plus sorry here minus 1 is there because power of l minus 1 after putting the b1 and c1 value we get the value of a1 because b1 is nothing but minus 1 and here minus 1 minus 1 plus plus 1 then plus c1 is equal to minus 1 we can have minus 1 plus 1 then 1 uh, 1 minus 1 0 plus 1 only remain that is why a1 is equal to 1 then next term is substituting the a1 b1 c1 in terms of pi 1 so pi 1 is the d1 v1 v raised to minus 1 mu raised to minus 1 and delta p so therefore delta p is equal to d upon mu v this is pi 1 term then second 
pi term that is pi 2 d s to a2 v b2 mu c2 into l then substituting the values of on both sides here that is m0 l0 t0 l this to a2 b uh, then l t to minus 2 that is minus 1 because of uh, that uh, that uh, velocity so here first of all we put the dimensionless number then we put up the geometry property then we put up the value that value for that flow proper uh, flow property and this mu is a flow property into this gel so after comparing the power of mlt on both sides then power of m is equal to 0 equal to so m0 is equal to here for c2 purpose m absent that is 1 m raised to 1 into c2 that means c2 so only we have to take it over the the exponential format then power of t so power of t that means 0 is equal to so here 0 is equal to t means minus b2 and then minus c2 so minus c2 therefore c2 is equal to 0 c2 is equal to 0 means minus b sorry b2 equal to also 0 then power of l so power of l means l is here 0 we can put 0 here l means b2 so l means b2 l is a2 a2 then next uh, then minus c2 minus c2 and last term is there for minus 1 so this sorry plus 1 because here there is no term that's why you can take plus 1 after comparing this value and all these terms that is c2 value and a2 value b2 value you can put over here that's why equation becomes pi 2 t raised to minus 1 v raised to 0 mu raised to 0 what is real so this is pi 2 is equal to l by d now we go for the third term that is pi 3 d raised to 3 bv3 mu cv3 and rho so first of all we put the for both dimensions format m0 l0 t0 l raised to a3 l d raised to minus 1 v3 then ml minus 1 t minus 1 c3 and ml raised to minus 3 so power of m is equal to 0 then c3 uh, plus 1 so likewise c3 minus 1 so likewise power of t that is 0 is equal to minus b3 minus c3 okay then b3 is equal to 1 because c3 is value have already calculated that is minus 1 then we we'll go for power of l that is 0 a3 plus b3 minus c3 equal to 3 that is why you can put the minus 1 equal to 1 and then find out the value of a3 so putting the value of a b3 c3 then we get the value pi 3 d1 mu 1 mu rest to minus 1 into rho so this is pi 3 value then we put up the this we have to collect it the uh, that dimensionless number that is pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 then this pi 1 pi 2 pi 3 we can put it in the equation number 2 so this is equation number 2 we can put over here then we can transfer the function outside then like this then we can transfer inside that's why it becomes equation delta p so delta p is equal to mu v equal in divided by d then pi then into bracket 1 upon d into rho dv upon mu so this is about the last problem already we discussed in a this pre working as pi theorem so actually pi method is suitable for two or more material or uh, two or more that variables is not it is not is suitable so this is the more advantageous point of view thank you